Professional Development Workshop for Sunshine Classics Digital, making the best use of the program. Sunshine Classics is an extensive digital literacy program based on the highly successful original Sunshine Reading series. The digital program features 310 Sunshine titles and covers reading levels 1 to 30 for emergent through to fluent readers. Students and teachers can access Sunshine Classics on a range of devices including computers, iPads and interactive whiteboards and TVs. On an iPad, log in via the Sunshine Classics app. And on a computer, login is via the website. Once logged in, students will find all the books in their library that have been allocated to them by their teacher. These are presented in level order. Teachers can allocate as many books as they like to individual students and to groups of students. Levels 1 to 19 books have a turquoise edged border and from levels 20 to 30, the border is orange. Let's start with an emergent level ebook. All emergent titles have narration that students can choose to listen to. Wake Up, Mum! Story by Joy Cowley Illustrations by Elizabeth Fuller They can select any word to have it read to them. Mum By clicking on Start Your Timer, Students can time how long it takes them to read the story. This information is recorded in the teacher administration part of the program, which we will look at later. On the first page of the story, high-frequency words from the story are listed and students can listen to them. 4. Mum. As the narration is read, the words are highlighted. Word by word for emergent text, and on natural phrases at later levels. Students read through the text at their own pace and narration support is only a click away. At the end of the story, students complete three to four interactive activities that focus on the key areas of phonics, alphabet and words, comprehension, thinking, and fluency. Let's look at some of these. This is a matching activity reinforcing the high-frequency words from the story. Match the words. For. For. Mum. Students mum, can erase any errors. Want, when they have finished, want, they can save their work. There. There. This comprehension activity is a simple close. Drag the words to make the sentences. Other comprehension activities at lower levels include matching words or sentences to pictures, sentence building, and story sequencing. Comprehension quizzes begin at level 13. The fluency activity allows students to record themselves reading the text. Press go to record the story. And then listen to their recording. The cows want their breakfast. Moo, moo, moo. The sheep want their breakfast. Ba ba ba. The pigs want their breakfast. Oink oink oink. The dogs want their breakfast. Waff waff waff. After recording their reading of the text, students can play back their reading. They can redo this activity over and over to improve their fluency. All saved recordings can be accessed by teachers in the administration section. This arrow brings up a useful tools panel. Library takes you back to the main library of books. Pages allows you to quickly navigate through the pages of the book rather than using the Next button. If you are working with a guided reading group reading on iPads, then after the reading, it is easy to revisit particular pages to focus on particular skills. The pen icon allows you to draw and write. For example, the pen tool can be used to circle particular high-frequency words or underline words that start with a particular letter blend. Students can also draw or label things in the illustration. Another useful tool is the white text box. To use the text box, click on it and then on the illustration. The text box can be moved anywhere on the page. 
the text box makes it easy to innovate on the text. Students could innovate on a single page or the whole book. This could become a shared writing lesson on an interactive whiteboard or TV. Another way to use the white box is to hide text or images. Students can then be encouraged to make text predictions, with or without print cues. This can also be useful on the story cover when you ask students to make predictions about the title and storyline. Key clues can be covered and revealed. For whole class shared reading, you could set up these white boxes in the story before the lesson. They will stay in place until you log out. Back at the library, in addition to the interactive activities that follow each story, you can allocate phonics revision activities for emergent readers. These activities focus on letter names, letter sounds, initial sounds in words, high-frequency words, and writing the letters. Here is a letter names activity. Select the letter you hear. M. M. F. F. This activity focuses on letter sounds. Select the letter that makes the sound. Learning the initial sounds in words. Select the word that begins with the sound. T. Tiger. V. Volcano. Learning high frequency words. Select the word you hear. Is. Here is a tree. I. I am running. And learning about letter formation. Select a letter. You can write the letter B. Let's briefly look at an early level text. For texts from level 6 to 24, the narration is activated by clicking on the text. The Traveller and the Farmer Story by Joy Cowley Illustrations by Corky Paul The toolbar is still available with the same tools. Texts at this level continue to have word activities, the recording activity and comprehension which is now in the form of a quiz. Read the question and choose the correct answer. Now we'll look at a higher level non-fiction text. The title of this text is Dangerous Jobs. The texts are longer up to 64 pages, so the Pages tool is even more helpful when moving around the book. Levels 20 to 30 texts have a writing activity along with comprehension and fluency activities. Do the following writing activity. The writing activity is open-ended and allows students to respond to the text in a range of creative ways. Sometimes these are imaginative writing and sometimes factual reports. Students can return to the text if they need to revisit parts before writing. The writing can be printed out and saved. Students can access their library of titles at school using iPads or computers. They can also log into their library at home for home reading. Back on the Sunshine Classics homepage, you will find all the teacher support resources, such as teaching notes. There is a skills overview chart detailing the skills focus for each title. 
There is information about the authors of the program, including short video interviews with Joy Cowley. You will also find professional development videos on how to use Sunshine Classics in the classroom. To access the administration part of the program, click on Teacher Login. This username and password is issued by the school's administrator. Click on your class name and the list of students will appear on screen. At this point, you can view individual students' results as well as complete any administration tasks, such as assigning books, creating groups of students, changing passwords. Let's look at student results. Here you can see which books have been assigned to the student, the time it took them to read the books, and the results of the activities. The View Details button allows you to see what the student's responses to the activity were. The Listen button allows you to listen to the student's recording of their reading. With the text on the screen, you can follow along while listening to the reading. The air was hot, the leaves turned brown. Look, said the people, the dragon's in town. Not again, said the people. Not the dragon. The houses shook, the ground went crack. Look, said the people, the giant's come back. Oh no, said the people, not the giant, not again. As a quick snapshot as to the suitability of this text for the student, you could count the number of errors and then insert this number in the total errors box to get an instant accuracy rate. If you wish to do a more thorough assessment, print out the reading record sheet and complete a full record based on the student's recording. For all administration tasks, the links you need are either at the top of this screen or along the bottom. Let's look at some of the main functions. To look up and print out student usernames and passwords, click on Student Logins. To edit a teacher's details, click Edit Teacher. To edit a student's username and password or transfer them to a new class, click Edit Transfer Student. To assign books to a student, first select the student, then click Assign Remove Work. First select the level of the books you wish to assign. You can select individual titles to assign to the student's library or you can select all the titles from that level. You must click Submit to activate the allocation. Removing titles works in the same way. If you want to quickly select a band of levels, scroll to the bottom of the screen, choose the band and click Submit. Alongside levels 1 to 8 titles, you may allocate the phonics revision activities. Direct links to the teacher notes for all titles are provided on this page. To go back to the class page, click on the class name. You can set up reading groups and assign books to all students in the group at the same time. To create a group, click on Add Group. Choose a group name and click Submit. The next step is to add students to this group. Select the students and then go to Add Students to Group. Now you can select this group and assign books in the same way as for individual students. If you need to add a new student to your class, click on Add Student. If you need further help with any of the administration functions, there are helpful user guides and video clips to walk you through the process. Sunshine Classics is an extensive digital resource that can be used for whole class, small group and independent learning. The program can be used on interactive whiteboards and TVs for shared reading or for guided reading on iPads. And students can use the program independently on iPads and computers at school and at home. We know that you and your students will love using Sunshine Classics.